Steam reviews. Today, we are looking at reviews from one very specific game that is taking the gaming landscape by storm. One that is putting players in probably every emotion known to the human race, from happiness to sadness, from triumph to, most importantly, failure and pain, and a lot of failure and pain. And that game is the one and only Elden Ring. Let's get into review number one. Play this if you also enjoy getting your balls crushed by a hydraulic press. And a thousand people found this review helpful. I feel like anybody, when you imagine your getting crushed by anything, especially like a slow hydraulic press, I don't know why I'm envisioning this right now. What is wrong with me? You know what's weird? Some people probably like that. That's what's even weirder. You do kind of have to be a little bit of a masochist to enjoy this game. You have to enjoy pain to a degree. My personal pain tolerance falls somewhere below balls being crushed by a hydraulic press, but I mean, that's just me. All right, next one. Oh, goodness. Liar ahead. Hidden path ahead. Could this be an item? Try finger butthole. <laughs> Oh, this has got to be in reference to the little uh, messages that people can leave for other people. <laughs> I fell for one of those that told me to jump off something at the very beginning of the game, and I was cautious ever since, so don't try the finger butthole. Incredible game, 10 out of 10, but it roasts you about having no hose, so 1 out of 10. <laughs> Still maidenless? Oh, uh, let's be honest, tarnished. We're all kind of maidenless right now. It's the way that the world works in Elden Ring. It just kind of calls us out on it. Oh, good. Oh, we can't all have the hose, you know? Some of us are out here grinding, trying to be an Elden Lord so that we can maybe not be maidenless. That's really what the whole game's about, I think. <laughs> Where the f do I go next? <laughs> Oh, I think I might relate to this one more than any other review you've seen so far because at the beginning of the game, you have no idea what to do or where to go. And you go to one area, you get your ass kicked by a boss. You say, okay, I'm going to go to another area and then get your ass kicked by a boss. So you're just traveling area to area, getting your ass kicked till maybe you finally stumble upon an area that you can do the ass kicking. And it's just that cycle over and over again. But a great game. Honestly, the, the sense of exploration in this game and the sense of getting your ass kicked all the time is uh, a very great combo. You can hug women. This is true, but beware. Hugging women is also the reason why you have that little red square debuff at the top of your screen on the left below your health and your stamina. If you didn't know that, when you're at the round table hold, if you hug the woman, which I'll be honest, I fell for that and, you know, being maidenless, I needed to hug her. And when I did, I got a debuff, which is like a five or so percent decrease in overall stats. So be careful. You can't hug women. You can jump i don't know why but in all caps i feel like i needed to read it like that but you can jump and double jump on your horse on torrent which how cool is that which is kind of a big deal and makes sense why this individual is excited because typically in souls like games you aren't really able to jump and if you are it's kind of wonky so the fact that you do have a jump mechanic in this game is a big deal cool game but i still can't find elden ring i don't know where he is i don't know i don't get it maybe i'm missing it i don't understand I don't understand. But 913 other people found it useful and 498 found it funny. So maybe I'm just the idiot. Probably am. I don't get it. I mean, I I think I get it. I just don't think it's funny. But that's okay. Not all of them need to be funny. Some of them need to be not funny so that the other ones are much more funny. Uh-oh, a thumbs down. Let's see why. A giant grabbed me in game and reached directly into my GPU to crash it. <laughs> 10 out of 10 immersion. I mean, where, what other game can you possibly get a real life consequence is like that. You die in game, your computer crashes. That's just the level of difficulty here in Elden Ring. If you are playing it on PC, which I am, there at this time, there have been a lot. Well, not really a lot, but mainly a frame rate and there have been some crashes, but there have been some issues with it. But I do know that the developers have said that they are quickly working on a fix. So hopefully we get that pretty soon. Another excuse for Miyazaki to showcase his foot fetish. <laughs> oh God, or finger fetish with the way this game's set up, you know? All about the two fingers. Such a weird, <laughs> weird thing. 47 hours on record. Elden released during an intense weather event. My house is slowly flooding. My downstairs bar is in danger, but at least I can still play this amazing game. Can't stop, won't stop, until I have to go outside and push some water away from my house. As long as it doesn't get in your PC, there's really nothing stopping you from gaming. Even though I don't know if I would want to play a game that makes me feel like life is crumbling around me while life is actually crumbling around me. I don't know if I need that. People are complaining about the frame rate. I'm one of them. 
but I see it as additional difficulty, 10 out of 10. You're definitely a glass half full type of individual, and I am not. When you're locked at 60 FPS, it kind of needs to stay that way. But in typical From Software fashion, for those of you that think it can't get any harder, try playing it with uh, frame rate dips, and then see how good you really are at the game. Goodbye, life. At least one person says that about every game, but specifically this game, it is just a time sink, and you'll start your gaming session, you feel like you blinked once, and then next thing you know, you got a five o'clock clock shadow and it's four o'clock in the morning and you don't know where the hell the time has gone this game is phenomenal at that i got a big sword i got to stab things with it i found a sword made out of swords i got to stab things with it why is there not a 10 out of 10 after that that sounds like everything you could ever want <laughs> That is one thing that I do like about Elden Ring, though. The variety in weapons and the creativity with the weapons is so damn cool. And there are a lot of big swords. I die so much, the you died text is burnt into my monitor. You have to be so old to understand this reference. But I remember back in the day, you always had to make sure that you turned off your monitor or your TV or whatever it is. Because if you didn't and you had it paused on something, that picture would be burned into your frame. So the fact that the you died being burned across your screen screen is just a constant reminder of how much of a failure you are at this game is exactly what the developers of Elden Ring probably intended. Everything is good. The only thing I don't like is I think the company stole from Dark Souls. Can't they get sued? I would hope that this is a joke, but knowing the internet, they could be saying this unironically, and I think that makes it even funnier. <laughs> was showing severe signs of maidenless behavior <laughs> until I played this game. It changed my life, 10 out of 10. What do you mean? How did this game cure your maidenless behavior? If anything, this game, unless you are one of the few that are already an Elden Lord, I don't think that you're necessarily having any maidens there. I think you might be bluffing. I think you might be even more maidenless than you already were before. Just saying. Beat the tutorial and got to the open world. When I started exploring, I was immediately teleported to a high level area. Then I was one shot repeatedly by mages wearing the Burger King mascot mask for an hour before I figured out how to escape. Game of the year, 10 out of 10. I mean, that goes back to what we were talking about earlier. You really don't know if you're in an area that you shouldn't be in until it's too late. And depending on where you are, it can kind of be difficult to get out of there. And when you got mages with a Burger King mask, not only is it hard, it's also terrifying. So <laughs> I feel for this player. Started game, find butthole, smacked a couple of fake walls, depressed. Met a one-eyed maiden who lets me down, depressed. Found another depressed maiden in some broken down home, tells me awful story, now we're both depressed. It's like an AA meeting inside a hot topic. You're depressed either way you look at it. 10 out of 10 pickles. It's so weird how this game is made to torture you and punish you and maybe possibly bring some depression into your life, but people love it. So I think that says a lot about all of us in some kind of capacity. We all talk about how much pain this game inflicts, but we can't seem to put it down or stop. I think all Dark Souls players or Souls-like players have learned a little bit about themselves for sure. We now live in a post Elden Ring society. Thank God. Because there was a point in time where a lot of people were speculating if this game was even real because it was kind of one of those cyberpunk situations where it felt too good to be true. Are we just hearing a whole bunch of conjecture we don't really know what's true, what's not true. And then we finally got it and it was incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. And we are in a post Elden Ring society and it feels damn good to be that way. Fun game if you're a masochist. I agree. I think a lot of people probably learned that they might be a masochist through games like this. <laughs> it's one of those things that you have to suffer through pain before you can see the, the sunlight at the end of the tunnel or whatever reference I'm trying to go to. I do think a lot of people have probably learned that maybe they, you know, there is some pleasure with all the pain that they get. And this game probably has made a lot of people realize that they may or may not be a masochist. I hate this game. 10 out of 10. I mean, that goes back to the masochism. Masochism? Masochist? Masochism. Is it masochism? I don't know. Somebody let me know. But it seems like everybody's in the same boat. Sometimes you love it. Sometimes you hate it. The lows in this game are really low, but the highs are like Snoop Dogg at Burning Man. Uh, just 
euphoric. Absolutely euphoric. This game will ruin your life. You will forget to pay the bills, go to work, listen to your girlfriend. If you even have one, we're supposed to be maidenless and forget what reality even is. Do you hate yourself? Are you a masochist? Well, then this is the perfect game for you. Try and demolish a big bad boss for the hundredth time so you can just try to get that quick dopamine hit, you little crack addicted gamer. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Haven't experienced any problems which many of the negative views here are listing out. It feels like everybody is kind of on the same boat here. It's all kind of following the same pattern of, of self-hatred, masochism, and the enjoyment of getting your ass kicked over and over and over again. Just for that one moment when you finally are the ass kicker instead of the one getting your ass kicked. And man, it feels so, so incredible. So that is gonna do it for another episode here of Steam Reviews. So if you wanna see some more videos where we react to Steam Reviews, and maybe, I think a cool idea would be to bring on some experts and have them react to maybe some games that they have a little bit of experience with and have them read the reviews. I think that would be really funny and unique. Uh, let us know what games you would like to see next here on Steam Reviews. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to uh, like, subscribe, and follow for more uh, videos and awesome content like this. And we'll see you in the next one <laughs> another uh, guy can't even read it i got a big sword <laughs> i don't know why that made me laugh of being a ma ma masochist is it masochism i don't know probably learned that they maybe may maybe be maybe be <laughs> oh goodness